I need to laugh at something. I think we all need to laugh at something. I have been trying to hold it together over the past three weeks while the world has been trying to fall apart over the past insert the age of the world i don't remember the exact day i saw it created so with that being said i'm ecstatic to be back today with something that is actually comedic though sheerly because of how bad it is i need you to suffer with me through the trailer for the upcoming film karen now this movie is getting slammed by the internet thankfully see it's supposed to be some sort of commentary about black people in america and the problems that they face due to karens racist karens aka women or men if we're being honest who abuse their social position in order to terrorize you know service workers people of color just everyone who isn't them basically and like as a black people in America, I don't really see why we need this to be a movie. I mean, I could just take this camera right here and walk around outside. Same effect, much cheaper, but let's go ahead and give the trailer a chance anyway, because of course there's absolutely no way this could go wrong. So the first scene of this trailer focuses on this insanely attractive young man as he does an ad read for today's sponsor so let's watch that today's video is sponsored by morning brew morning brew is a free newsletter that updates you seven days a week first thing in the morning an onslaught of information from last night is just vying for my attention but that's where morning brew comes in instead of endless scrolling across a bunch of apps the newsletter they email you is informative witty all in one place and it takes about five minutes to read i think my favorite thing about morning brew is it actually has good news like steve Steven Spielberg's Netflix deal or companies doing better than ever after the pandemic, all things I found about through the newsletter. I learned about anything really that covers business, finance, or tech news. If this sounds interesting to you, you've got to sign up for it. It's completely free and it takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So click the link in the description to subscribe to Morning Brew today. Don't even try to tell me that that wasn't the smoothest transition into an ad read that you've seen all week. I am a professional. So the trailer actually starts with the BET logo, which, oh no. Now this director, Coke Daniels, I'd actually never heard of before, but according to my sources, AKA a 12 second Google search, it seems that he's also the director of such masterpieces as Parking Lot Pimpin, who made the potato salad in which Potato is misspelled for some reason. And Gangsta Rap, the Glockumentary. So, how could Karen be anything short of a high art masterpiece? I guess this is a long way from East Point. Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. Oh my gosh. The way they're using the single note piano horror sound effect that's in like literally every horror trailer. What is that? Like an F sharp? It's an A. Anyway, I will give them some props here because this Karen character does look pretty terrifying. Try saying Karen character out loud three times fast, by the way. It actually feels like you're in a horror movie. Like, try it, unironically. I'll sit here and wait. Did you do it? If so, congratulations. You are officially a fool because that means you've summoned her. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. Okay, this is literally the lightest depiction of racism I have ever seen in a film. I don't know how to explain this, but they have somehow whitewashed racism itself. My neighbors are black. They're loud. I'm calling the manager. Like, yes, all of these are problematic statements for obvious reasons that I don't have to explain, but this is a horror flick, okay? I want Quentin Tarantino hard R heated gaming moment level racism, all right? Somebody's taking home security serious. Hi, I am Karen Drexler. I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. And you need to be off of my driveway and out of my business. This is not your property, ma'am, and you are not the HOA. That being said, all of the acting in this trailer has been really weird. The Karen actress seems like she's just LARPing as a Karen, which I guess acting is just LARPing on a budget, but I shouldn't be conscious of that while watching something. And everyone's lines are delivered like they're trying to remember what the line is before they say it. Is she nice? Yeah. 
She's nice. Wait a minute, we have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen. Wow. Wait till these filmmakers learn about this um, underused but pretty important device that pops up in cinema every now and then. I think it's called subtlety. So there's that. Okay, enjoy yourself. There she is slaving away in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Well, there's there's the racism I asked for, I guess. Thanks. I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Suspecting? Can you please hurry up? Please, it's, they're very aggressive. Yeah. This acting is like... This is YouTube acting. This is like serving my wife divorce papers at 3 a.m. prank free iPhone giveaway acting. And I'm sorry, not to be a Karen myself, but suspecting that is that's that's not how you use that word. It's definitely not an adjective. I'm almost positive they meant to say suspicious because that word makes way more sense in that context. I've come across some very suspecting teenagers it makes me wonder if those guys reacted like that because they were offended or just because they were just beyond confused at her grammar Suspecting. so anyway she gets them arrested i left my wallet with my id at home leave us alone we didn't do anything well this movie is clearly unrealistic because let's be honest if i was to shout in a police officer's face um let's just say my next youtube break would be a little bit involuntary and somewhat forever if if you catch my drift how the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood next thing you know we have criminals you take care of him and i will take care of her so the same woman who's complaining about trash on the curb is now kicking it over bro did you want the neighborhood to be beautified or not like if it bothers you so much how about you roll my trash can back up also does this movie not have cursing in it she said how the heck did you move into this neighborhood, you freaking black people? Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. Oh my gosh. So not only do we have a racist named Karen in this film, but her brother is also a police officer. This, this entire script seems like it was written by an AI that was fed nothing but captions from Instagram posts of black squares posted by non-black people. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like you either. She doesn't like black people. <laughs> Look, I know that this is just a child saying this, but the movie seems to be doing everything but depicting like actual hardcore racism. And from my perspective, a social commentary that aims to downplay the actual social issue itself in order to make everybody more comfortable is just nothing more than a mockery at this point. A complicit mockery, because now people can just point to this movie and say, see, racism's not a real problem, it's dumb. And I'm just like, here we go again. I wanna sell the house. What do I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to a racist. I mean, y'all couldn't tell from the first interaction or... Look, I'm not blaming the couple in the situation, obviously, but still. She said it like she was so surprised. I say this with absolutely no sarcasm. Almost every single thing that has been depicted in this movie has happened to my family. Every single time we've moved into a new neighborhood. Like, this is not news. Now, did the neighbors have Confederate flag soap dispensers? I mean, let's not be silly. Of course they did. I literally live in Texas. South Texas. You went in her house? You wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? Ew, wait, did they? Why though? Cause, oof. It was not standard police procedure back there. What do we have here? When you got a hammer, everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. This trailer is just a compilation of ridiculously over-the-top racist statements that everyone already knows is racist, intercut with footage of police brutality and black people crying. <laughs> so like what I'm trying to say here is add a little bit of horror music on top of that and you've just got something that's super gross for no reason. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Bad things happen to people that don't comply.
So, um, that was the trailer. Now, before I go ahead and get into everyone else's opinions on it, go ahead and let me know what you think about it because I am quite curious. One thing that a lot of people were pointing out was that the film kind of looks like it wants the money and clout from being a Jordan Peele knockoff, but it doesn't want to do any of the work that Jordan Peele does to actually comment on issues. Like for example, Get Out, which is a movie I watched, does a very similar thing. It highlights absurdly racist people terrorizing the black characters, but that's just one way of interpreting the movie. Like you could also just choose to look at it as a straightforward, straight faced horror film, or, you know, a very direct and blunt commentary on these issues itself. But beyond the message, Get Out is just an entertaining and well-made film that's fun to watch. I mean, it's not fun to watch, it's, it's horrifying, but you know what I mean? You can't just put on a Jordan Peele mask and think the same thing is going to happen with your movie. Like this tweet right here says, everyone's been doing their best Jordan Peele impression and I absolutely hate it. See, the magic of Get Out was that it wasn't so on the nose like this. It generated discussion and depending on who you asked, generated very different experiences for different folks. Another thing that people were pointing out was that outside of the world of the film itself, things start getting a little bit weirder when you look at the fact that the lead actress playing Karen might actually be a Karen. Last year in a now deleted post, which I found multiple screenshots of, as well as multiple transcriptions and articles, the Karen actress, Taryn Manning, holy crap, her name rhymes with Karen. She goes on and on about how we should stop being mean to Donald Trump and that we should look up QAnon because the Black Lives Matter protests are funded by Soros to make white people look bad so yeah i mean at least she deleted it people were pointing out the racism of implying that the protests were not happening for an actual legitimate reason and she responds in the worst possible way and i'm sure a lot of you already see this coming she posted a photo of her as a child with two black friends and the caption far from a racist i literally can't make this up taryn manning is just she is the character that she's portraying in this movie in real life. And that makes me feel really weird. Like I don't want to watch a movie where someone's being super racist and there's, there's a chance that they mean every single thing they say. But at the same time, I do find myself willing to believe that she's not really like this because her acting in this movie is just so terrible. I don't feel like she believes a single word she's saying. Can you please hurry up? Please, it's very aggressive, yep. It's all a mess. Besides the actual concerns about the film's portrayal of issues or the statements of the lead actress playing Karen, there was just a lot of people pointing out how hilarious this is in general. Jordan Peele paved the way and y'all added potholes to it. I definitely thought this Karen movie was an SNL skit, but then it went on for so long and it's a real movie, question mark, exclamation point. I just finally saw the trailer for that Karen horror movie. I can't stop laughing. It's unbelievably cringe. It's like someone took every woke stereotype and fear mongering about race relations and put it into a blender without nuance or subtlety. No surprise it's from BET. I really did think that this was all just supposed to be some sort of satire at first, but no, this was made in earnest and then greenlit and then completed and is now being distributed. So let that sink in, I guess. Just kidding. There's nowhere for it to sink because we're already in the second place, apparently. Anyway, that's that. Um, before you go, though, I actually need you to do something for me. This is actually the first time I'm sharing this on this channel, but I have been working on this for the past half a year. So I have a secret project that I'm going to be doing in 2022. They're not YouTube videos, but... I will still be uploading them all to YouTube for free so that y'all can still watch them for free, but it's going on a different channel. It's going on this channel right here. Yes, I know it looks exactly like the one you're on, but it's in all caps. Don't, don't ask questions. I've gotten 88,000 subscribers on that channel so far, and that was just with zero uploads and me only mentioning it in my community tab. So I need a whole lot more than 88,000. I have plans of world domination and fortunately for you, you're all part of them. So um, yeah, go subscribe. If you're really fast, you might actually be able to be one of the first 100,000 subscribers of that channel, which would be a little bit crazy. But either way, move quickly because one day we will have millions. And remember, don't ask questions. To subscribe by the way i did i did want to point out that coke daniel's other film 
who made the potato salad only has one review on imdb and um it reads as follows this is definitely one of the worst movies i have ever seen okay they spell potato with an e and that bugged me from the off but even ignoring that the performances script and direction are so below par i would not have been surprised if this had been a drama school production however if the actors and director were to submit this they would fail and have to resubmit the examination it is to be hoped they don't try this again. So, um, basically when Karen comes out, you know we're gonna watch it in a video, right? Good. Okay, bye.